right, so if you're in the NRG Center and you suddenly hear like a chorus of, oh, it's probably coming from the birthing center. That's where we welcome the newest and cutest members to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. To be fair, it doesn't sound exactly like Not that. Not like that. I felt like it was, oh. But yeah, yeah, you're talking about like <laughs> piglets and chickies and lambs. Oh my. So Ruben Dominguez is already there giving us a sneak peek of the exhibit. At the end of this thing, they're expecting that we'll have 100 new babies. Yo, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to get crowded real, real quick, man. There's never a dull moment over in the birthing center. I've got Rich here with me. All right, so, I mean, this has to be one of the most popular uh, stops for, you know, young and old coming to the rodeo, yeah? Absolutely, absolutely. We have moms having babies, cows, pigs, sheep. And, uh, you know, really, by the end of the show, we'll have about 100 beating hearts back here in this corner to keep track of. That's a lot of brand-new rodeo residents. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So uh, I know, obviously, super popular with the kids. Um, you know, we've got cows, we've got the pigs, we've got the little piggies. Uh, and like you said, lots of them being born during the run here uh, for uh, rodeo. So do you, do you ever get just like crazy questions from the kids? Who's going to have their baby next? That's the number one. <laughs> that's uh, the number that's one what everybody question wants to know because they want to be the in position. Time. Young and old. I love it. How long have you been doing this, man? I think we've been blessed enough to be here at Rodeo for 16, 18 years. So, so you've, you've seen everything at this point? Yes. Just about. Yes, pretty much. I Just, love that, man. I hope so. I love that. I noticed we already have a, 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 a few, I saw some lambs earlier, right? We have a few new lambs? Yes, we had a set of uh, twin lambs yesterday morning, a uh, male and a female, a ewe and a ram. Oh, okay. The proper, uh, uh, that's what that's what we refer to them as. All right, so doors are going to open, guys, and I'm just going to let you know that this is definitely the quiet before the storm because it is about to get crowded. It is about to get loud, and folks will make a beeline here because you got a lot of the school uh, school trips happening, you know, all the kids coming down here. Absolutely. So, um, and you do this all year round. You're visiting. You you guys move around to all the different rodeos and state fairs. Again, I'm blessed enough to do this about six times a year. Yeah. I'm from the Midwest, so you know that's where some of our other shows are. But as I said, Houston's uh, had us down here for quite a while now. Well, man, we 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 love having you down here, and we're looking forward to seeing you next year. Have a good one, man. Thank you, Rich. Brother. Thank you so yeah, much. All right. Great. All right, I know you're busy. Go, go, get, get back to work there. All right, guys, a lot more coming to you from the kickoff of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo right now. We are live at NRG Center. Back to you guys. Get in there. They might need some help. What if right. someone's being bored? Let's get in their mm -hmm. stat. Go ahead. Give me a shovel. Make sure your hands are warm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ruben.